Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, welcome to this TRB Polytechnic English Lecturer Exam Preparation Series 2021. In this video, I am going to discuss one poem from Michael Ondaatje's book, There is a Trick with a Knife I am Learning to Do. It was a 1978 publication. So in this collection, so his poems published between 1963 and 1978 are included. There are 64 poems. So the poem in discussion is 19th. Peter. So it is a long poem which has got uh, seven parts. So just it is like a story. Just listen so you can get the point. Peter is known as a bird. Otherwise Peter, the name Peter is given to a bear. That spring Peter was discovered, freezing the maze of bones from a dead cow, skull and hooves glazed with skin of ice. The warmth in his hands carved hollows of muscle, his fingers threading veins on its flank. So first, uh, how Peter was discovered? He was eating the bones nearby, the, nearby a dead animal. In the attempt to capture him, he bit to defend himself. Three throats and a wrist. That night, villagers found the cow frozen in red and Peter eating a meal beside it. So, people tried to catch the catch Peter, but whereas he hurt many people. They snared him in evening light, his body a pendulum between the walls of the yard, rearing from shrinking flashes of steel until they, with a new signs, stretched his heel and limbs, scarred through a back of his knees, leaving his vein unpinned and him sinking in the evening air, till he fainted and brown bitch knows his pain, stared in interest and he froze into consciousness to drag his feet to the fountain to nim wounds. So here finally, so after the daylight, the bear is trapped. So first it makes unnecessary noise movement and other animals like a dog, they show some interest in killing the bird. But it is caged now. Part 3 In the first months of his capture, words were gross, meaningless, disgust in his tone burned everyone. At meals in bed you heard Peter's hole in the depths of the castle like a bell. So in the first month, always Peter was scrolling, making noise. After the first year, they cut out his tongue. Difficult to unpin a fish mouth without the eventual jerk to empty throat of pin and matter. There followed months of silence. So what happened, you know? The people, they cut off the tongue of the bear. He began to speak with the air of his body, torturing breath into tones. It was despicable. So afterwards, whenever uh, the bear attempted to make noise, it was very sad and it was to be hated. It was not pleasant. They had made a dead animal of his throat. He was little more than a marred stone a baited gariol. Gariol means uh, a kind of stone. Escaped from a fountain in the courtyard, his throat swollen like an arm muscle, his walk stuttered with limp, his knees straight, his feet arching like a compass. So, a simile. So, here uh, the poet points out how the animal bear is tortured by the people. They made a hive for him in the court. Jason throwing him bones from the table, the daughter Tara tossing in detail the hair that collapsed like a nest over his weaving eyes. She with bored innocence would pet him like a flower, place vast kisses on his wrist, thrilled at scalds and absentees, delighted, sorry, obscenities, delighted at sudden grins that opened his face like a dawn. So what happened, you know, the small girl, little girl, Tara, she tried to establish a relationship with that uh, bear. 
she kissed the wrist and suddenly it opened uh, his face like a dawn because nobody treated the bear uh, in a gentle way so the bear is very much impressed he ate bolded at their feet washed hand shaping rice and he walked with them on grit drives his legs dragged like a suitcase behind him so whenever it walks it looks like that uh, it is uh, dragging a suitcase beautiful similes all this while peter formed violent beauty he carved death on chalices so here uh, it like uh, look like death was his cup of tea made spoons of yawning golden fishes folk stemmed from their tongues of reptiles candle holders bent like the ribs of men he made fragments of people breasts in the midst of a girl stride a head burrowed in love an arm swinging fingers heaved to nose barricades of water his squat form the ripple domes of sea weeded hair so his hair looks like sea weeded hair the fingers black bent from molding silver poured all his strength into the bare reflection of ice so this particular part 5 it describes the physical appearance of the bear part 6 then tara grew when he first saw her tall ungainly as trees her fat knees dangled his shoulders as her ribs rode him the coat monster she swayed from side to side held only by the grip of her thighs on his upstew neck she bended over him muttering giggles at his eyes covering his creased face with her hair and he made golden spiders for her and silver frogs with opal glass and as she grew her body burned in its awkwardness the full bones roamed in brown warm skin so here uh, from this we understand tara can mean not only the girl but also another bear the poet is uh, just uh, he is giving it in an obscured way the rich in her back broaden her dress hit seas of thighs arms trail to adjust hair and pass like a long bird at her shoulder so her hair is compared to the long uh, bird and was brown breast restless at each gesture clung to her body like new sea beast and she smiled cool at peter now a quiet hand received gifts from him and her finger poise touched to generate expressions so here uh, it, uh, this particular part points out the transformation of the girl as well as the bear an arm held her splayed its fingers like a cross at her neck till he could feel fear thrashing at her throat while his bent hands tore the sheet of skirt lifted her buttock and neck to the table then laying arm above her breast he shaped her body like a mold the stub of tongue sharp as a cat cold dry as a cat rasping neck and breast till he poured loathing of 15 years on her a vat of flesh oil stained the large soft body like a whale so what happens then he lay there breathing at her neck his face wet from her tears that glued him to her pain so suddenly unexpectedly the bear attacks tara so with that uh, it gets over dear friends with this the discussion on the first book is over i would like to remind you the first book name is the dainty monsters the year between 1963 and 67 the poems have very simple themes about the daughter son father and nature so just at least try to remember one line for each poem that is the theme of the poem then it is more than enough regarding this poem thank you meet you in next video 
Dear friends, I hope the video was useful. The remaining poems are part of the main course. If you need any assistance, feel free to call us. Thank you. All the best.